In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best blitzes in Madden 23, especially with the new AP updates. The fact that we can have four to five corners that are really powerful man coverage uh, ability-wise makes this defense significantly better. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. If you are also looking to take your Madden game to the next level, consider joining the Patreon. I'll put a link to that in the description. We've got a whole plethora of eBooks there that can help you become a better Madden player. Now, we're in the 46 playbook today. We're going to be talking about the 3-3 Cub. Uh, but before we do, I did want to let you know about this channel that I recently came across that just celebrated their three-year anniversary, and that is the Junior Perfect uh, channel. These are uh, high school guys that uh, do some trick shots. So if you guys like trick shots, um, I want to ask you to go consider subscribing to their channel. I'll put a link to their channel in the description, but it's been some of the best videos that I've watched on YouTube. So if you're not a subscriber of Junior Perfect, yet make sure to hit that link in the description but let's check out this blitz out of 3-3 cup all right guys so 3-3 cub is a really really effective defense in madden and the reason why is primarily for the alignment that the formation uh, provides so what you're going to see here is we've already got the audible set just this mic blitz zero is what we're going to rock and then the other big thing with this is you want to be coming out in 3-3 normal to audible into 3-3 cub to get better personnel, better ability to cross man. You can cross man linebackers and safeties in this formation, which is something unique to this formation, um, in my opinion, because it treats all of your linebackers as if they were middle linebackers, not outside linebackers, which gives you better adjustments. So here we go, 3-3 Cub, and the Blitz is going to be Mike Blitz 0. Now the setup's really simple, um, literally do nothing. So Mike Blitz 0, you're going to just stand just to the opposite side of the running back. And then when the ball is snapped, you want to kind of run at the running back. So you see right here, just run at the running back. And as you can see, the Blitz is really, really, really effective. Now the, the benefit of this is not only in the fact that you have a really good Blitz, one of the other big recommendations that I would have for you um, is to not press uh, to not press your coverage. and But I will also say one thing you can do that will help this is to press your coverage and back off your outside corners and your slot corner really quick just like that. And what that will do is it will make the blitz harder to pick up and it will also make the coverage significantly better. So again, the way that, or another way that you could also get at the same thing is just walk the safeties down, which I think is also a really good way to do it. Um, either way, whichever is faster for you, you're just trying to get your safeties in the box. The reason you want your safeties in the box every single play in Madden 23, uh, and I, I would argue probably every play going forward, is they just play everything better. They'll play crossers better. They'll play corner outs better. They'll play, they, they literally play everything better, okay? Now, uh, what you just saw right there, the only reason this could get picked up, one other little pro tip for this, is to put your user in a deep blue zone um, if you're going to send more than five or more than four. And then hold left trigger at the snap. When you hold left trigger at the snap, it creates that little disengage that you're seeing. My, my defense attack almost come through every time. It creates a little disengage for you. Um, so you can do that as well. Uh, that's, that's a helpful uh, adjustment. Now, the other thing that I want to say is also a really good coverage shade technique that's going to make this defense much better for you. So what you want to do is you want to shade outside and over top. And the reason why you want to do that is it's going to force all of the routes to come over the middle of the field, which is where your user's at. So let's say, for example, that they were running, you know, kind of a man beating concept like this. And we'll let them pick it up, uh, pick up the pressure by blocking the running back. If they do block the running back a lot, you can try containing. This still works as you see him come right around the running back like that. So if you contain, um, it's helpful because if they if they try to block the running back, then the contain is going to help the, the blitz come in. One other quick pro tip on this, if you want to make this blitz really optimized, when you do that, what I would also recommend is re-blitzing that left side, uh, the guy that's not on the running back side. So what this is going to do, and even if they run a concept like bench, again, shade outside, really important. But what you'll get is you'll get the pressure and then you can go take one of the corner routes and then you're, you'll see there, you see how, and that, that corner has no ability. I think he just has pick artists. 
and he's able to defend a corner route. By shading outside, it takes away the best routes in the game that people want to throw away from your user, and it forces them to throw at your user. So this is why I think 3-3 Cub is one of the best defenses in the game, especially if you will just bring these safeties down every single time. It makes this defense really, really effective. It's really it's the best five wide defense by far. Um, it's the best spread defense by far. Um, it's the best run defense by far. You're going to be able to stop the run with this really, really easily. This defense, all in all, is a, one probably the most versatile defense in the game, um, From a, especially if you can utilize man-to-man -man principles to make it better. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Again, don't shout out a lot of channels, but I did want to let you know about Junior Perfect. If you're not a subscriber to Junior Perfect, you can subscribe to them by clicking the link down below. They've got great trick shot videos and uh, friends of mine. So uh, make sure you go check out their channel. The link is down in the description below.